first impressions on feet. Look at that knee movement, man. You guys know I tore my patellar tendon. Still a work in progress, but I'm glad to be able to just be back shooting videos. I've been seeing like a lot of these videos about the sneaker recession is coming and sneaker prices are dropping. What is next? Like the unions went from $700 to 250. Like, man, what's going on? And it's crazy to see like people upset about that. Like, isn't that a good thing that sneakers are dropping in value? Like, doesn't that help everyone out? Isn't that what we wanted is to get shoes for at least close to retail instead of paying like these insane resale prices? I think it's awesome. Now you can get your grails for not as expensive. Like it's kind of cool because when people can't spend like uh, what's the word frivolously or yeah, I think it's frivolously. Hey Siri, is frivolously a word? The word frivolous apply to things that don't deserve serious attention. Whatever, I think it's something like that. Spending money crazy. I don't even know what my point was. So you guys can already tell from the title what I got. Huge shout out to Crossover. Holding me down so nice, had to cop them twice. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all were excited to get your pair in. Now for the star of the show, this is the bleached coral. From the moment I saw images of these, I wanted them. I don't know why, they just looked really clean to me. And you know, I've been seeing them all over social media. They reminded me a lot of like the Art Basel ones that came out years ago first impressions in a hand now back to this whole sneaker recession concept jordan one lows usually go for crazy prices and some people were like oh you're smoking what are you smoking bro like that's not the truth but it is man a lot of jordans just kind of skyrocket especially jordan ones in price just out the blue now with this whole sneaker recession right now you could pick these up for under 200 dollars which you know, we'll get into it a little bit more. Let me check these out. I've been waiting to just check like the materials of the sneaker, right? So it looks like we have the suede upper and that bleached coral. Then we have some nice leather hints. Uh, the leather's pretty good quality, nothing crazy. This is kind of like your typical Jordan 1. Then we have this cracked black. I wonder, I don't even know what kind of material this is. Would they consider this to be cracked leather? They should have done it all throughout the sneaker, even on the swoosh. I don't know why they skipped out on that but you have your bleached coral, your white upper, this cracked, I wanna just, I'm just gonna call it black leather for the time being. We have a white midsole and then the bottom rubber is black. Love the color blocking on the shoe. It, it looks really dope. I can see why anyone and everyone who got these is like, yo, these are super fire, man, these are super fire. Like they are very clean. This is honestly a Jordan one that I feel like I could have seen being a collaboration with someone, some brand, Atmos, you know, usually Atmos does like crazy animal prints and stuff. But I mean, for some reason, it just slightly reminds me of like a very subtle Atmos. It could be like a staple shoe uh, with like a little pigeon stamp on there. That would be pretty dope. A lot of brands could have really pulled this off. You know, one Jordan one low that I'd love to see is like an acronym. That would be, wow. I can only imagine what they would be able to put together. Hot boy summer, man. City boys. City boys. City boys. That's what these are, man. These are the city boy Jordan lows. These go nuts, honestly. Wow. If you're in the market and you didn't pick these up, man, and you like them, I'd say scoop them. There's kind of like that that mixture of, there's the potential of it dropping more, but as of now on a lot of like reselling platforms that I looked at, you can get them pretty much for retail. Obviously with taxes and shipping, it's gonna run up, but it's gonna be under $200, which is what we typically pay for all shoes anyway. Can't really get this little tag to focus. I think it's in Chinese, but it says, please note, natural cracks seen on the upper is normal due to random crackle ink application so maybe there's leather under there and on top of it it's just an ink that's cracked wow that makes me wonder how these are gonna hold up i'm gonna have to do an update video after i just trash these wow that like i'm that's really interesting so it's just an ink on top of the leather let's just go ahead and throw these bad boys on okay now as far as sizing with any jordan one low i personally typically always go true to size have never had an issue with that. Now, honestly, I would say these are a lot more clean than the Mystic. If I had to choose, right, it's called the Mystic, Navy, whatever. If I had to choose between these and those, I would pick these all day. Got them boys laced up, little too tight towards the bottom. But typically with Jordan 1s, all you gotta do is just loosen the laces. There's so many different ways to lace really any sneaker. Um, I've done a few videos on how I lace Jordan 1s, but I mean, right out of the box, you just wanna get right to it, which another thing I'm just realizing 
they finally started lacing the Jordans, so you don't gotta do it by yourself. I hate that, I hate it so much. I love the fact that these are already pretty much pre-laced and I can just kinda situate them the way I want to and put them on. So first impressions, putting them on feet, your standard Jordan 1 low. I can't say these are the most like crazy comfortable, but I mean, I feel like once you break them in, life gets good. So first impressions on feet, Look at that knee movement, man. You guys know I tore my patellar tendon. Still a work in progress, but I'm glad to be able to just be back shooting videos and just move my legs around. I mean, tell me down below in the comments, you tell me that these don't look butter on feet. Say something, let me hear it. These them city boy ones. City boy, city boy, city boy. I don't know if you guys get that reference. I ain't no city boy, man. Your boy's married now, officially. Clean, 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 clean. I'm giving these a 10 out of 10 for a non-collaboration, just straight up random color from Jordan brand. You know how they usually do, give us these weird alternate Jordan fours that look like trash. They did an excellent job on these. I should probably get some new socks. Also, I didn't mention it does come with pink laces. I'm not gonna be putting the pink laces on. I think the black color blocking looks phenomenal. There you guys have it, man. Jordan 1 Lowe's, another pair. If you guys wanna cop any of the newest merch, the link will be down below or you just head to sneakerlife.com. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Running.